Pioneer Primaries and Juniors, oras na naman para sa ating online Sunday School. Bumubulit kami ni Teacher Jun ang aming dinosaur model. Ayan, Primaries and Juniors, alam niyo ba kung anong dinosaurs itong binuo namin? Tignan niyo. Siguro, Teacher Pablo, meron tayong mga students na magiling sa dinosaurs at sa mga fossils. So, my model animal is one with wings. And God made it to have the ability to fly. It is called a pterodactyl. Yung akin naman ay isang land dinosaur. God made it to have three horns. Its head that it can use for defense. It is a model of the fossil of a triceratops. Pero teacher Pablo, alam mo ba na walang tao na alam yung kulay ng mga dinosaurs? Kahit yung mga anthropologists, yung mga archaeologists, or yung mga paleontologists, hindi nila alam yung, or hindi nila sigurado anong balat o anong itsura ng balat ng mga dinosaurs at ng iba pang mga hayop. After all, they are already extinct. Tama! Wala pa naman kasi camera yung mga tao noon para picturean yung mga dinosaurs. Pero bakit ganun? Kahit meron isa na alam na alam niya, yung itsura ng mga dinosaur. Yun ang Panginoon. God knows everything about dinosaurs. He knows everything about all animals because He created all of them. And that is our lesson for our online Sunday School. Primaries and Juniors, do you remember what our series is all about? Our lesson is wonderful. We are studying about how wonderful God is. And we can say, I'm wonderfully made by wonderful God. Sabihin ulit natin yun ng sabay-sabay. Sumabay ka rin, Teacher Jude. I am wonderfully, wonderfully made by the wonderful God. And we can learn this from our Bibles. Kaya naman alisin natin yung mga distractions and let us get our Bibles. At kung katulad nyo ko, I have a marker there to quickly open it to the song we are studying this Sunday. Yes, let's open our Bibles to Psalms 139. This song of praise was written by David. And in every verse, he was talking about the power of God and who God is. Last week, we have learned in our library God's attribute of holiness. And today, we will study verses 1 to 6 of Psalms 139. As we look at those verses, we will learn one more attribute of God. At pag napag-aralan natin yung attribute na iyon, we will surely say that God is wonderful. His power is amazing. And His character is incomparable. Wala talaga ang makakapantay sa ating Diyos. Kaya naman katulad ni David, dapat natin purihin ang Panginoon. Bago tayo magsimula, Manalangin tayo. Let's pray. Nakilang Diyos, mabaling Ama, salamat Panginoon muli sa araw na ito na kami ay mga kapag-aral na iyong salita. Tulungan niyo po ang bawat isa po sa amin na maintindihan po ang aming mga activity lesson ngayong araw na ito. Dalangin ko po Panginoon, ano ba po may kita niyo karamihan po sa lahat ng Panginoon sa amin. Patuloy kami nyo malapit sa inyo at turuan niyo po ang aming mga puso na maging mapagpumbaba at patawarin niyo po Panginoon kami sa aming mga kasalanan. At sa gayon, ang banal na Espiritu po, ang malaya, mga iusap po sa bawat isa at siya mismo ang magturo sa amin kung ano po ang nais ninyo na dapat namin matutunan sa araw na ito. Salamat sa privilegyo ito na makapag-aaral ulit kami. Purihin ng iyong pangalan, katastaasan sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. And now, primaries and juniors, because God is wonderful, let us use our energy to praise Him. Hi, Hi. kids! For our first song, ang kakantahin natin ay The Love of Jesus. And then after natin kantahin yun, kakantahin natin yung Filipino version, okay? So everybody, let's sing together. Stand up, okay? Music, please.
tayo na ang bagong song. And the title is, God Knows Everything. Okay, so try to sing along with us. Okay, music please. God is omniscient, we are saying God is all-knowing. 
This means God knows all things and His understanding is infinite and perfect. God is the source of all the knowledge possessed by mankind. This means God knows everything, both big and small. He knows the secrets of the universe, even the things that scientists cannot explain or the places that no person has ever discovered. God has already perfect knowledge. Do you know that no engineer or physicist or mathematician can definitively say how airplanes can fly? But God can. No astronomer can count the number of stars in the universe. But God can, and He even has names for each one. God's omniscience also means that God knows everything about you. Your personal thoughts, actions, and attitudes are known by God. Even when no person is around you, God knows what you are doing. Even when it is just inside your mind, God knows what you are thinking. This doesn't mean that He only knows what is happening now. Because God is all-knowing. He also knows what happened before and all things that will happen tomorrow or 10 years from now. From eternity to eternity, God knows every little and big thing. God knows our next move, even before we do them. He knows what we will say or what we will eat tomorrow. He also knows when this pandemic will be over. There is nothing that God doesn't know. How much knowledge does God have? God knows everything that can be known. Psalm 147 verse 5 says, Great is our Lord and of great power. His understanding is his understanding is infinite means there is no limit to God's knowledge. If you have a computer or your cell phone, sometimes it will say that you cannot download new apps or record videos because its memory is already full. But with God, He will never run out of memory. He knows everything perfectly. He knows even the number of hairs that is in your head right now. And if you will lose one hair, God is still aware of that. He knows the number of hair in the head of every people living in the world and even those that have died already. And He also knows the number of hairs in the babies that will be born tomorrow. Nothing is hidden because He knows everything. Only God has the power to be omniscient. He is the only source of knowledge understanding, and wisdom. Everything we know came from Him. This surely makes God wonderful. He is an omniscient God. He is able to know everything past, present, and future. And He is never wrong about anything. Think about it, primaries and juniors. How does God's omniscience show God's greatness? Lord, you are all-knowing. You see me and know all about me. You know every step I'll take and where I'm going. You know it when I lie down and rise up. You see my mind and what I am thinking. Do you know my words before I even say them? Lord, you are ever-present. I am never alone, I cannot run away from you. Up the skies and down the ocean, your presence is there. If I run to the east or west, I am still with you. Your hands are the hands that lead me and hold me. Not even darkness can stop you. Lord, you are all powerful. You made my every part and my mother's belly. You created me to be wonderful. All my days are already planned in your calendar. Your thoughts of me are plenteous, full. And for all of this, I praise your name. Lord, you are holy. Evil people go against you and say bad things and I don't want to be like them 
Search me, O God, and know my being. Show me my act like the wicked ones, and lead me in the way everlasting. Good morning, Primary School Juniors. Welcome pa sa ating online Sunday School. Ang ating lesson na pag-aaral ngayon ay isa sa mga attributes ng Panginoon. Alam niyo ba mga bata na maraming attributes ang Panginoon? Yes, ganon kapangyarihan at ganon kadakila ang Panginoon. Pero sa ating pag-aaralan ngayon ay tungkol sa isa sa mga attributes ng Panginoon. Ano ito? God is omniscient. Eh, Teacher Pablo, ano ba ibig sabihin ng omniscient? Ang omniscience ay God is all-knowing. Yes, God is all-knowing. Alam ng Panginoon lahat ng mga bagay dito sa mundo. Alam ng Panginoon kung saan niya inilikha o kung para saan ito. Alam ng Panginoon kung sinilikha niya ang buong mundo. Simulat animal sa pinakamaliit at sa mga malalaki ay alam niya kung anong purpose nito at alam niya kung ano yung kanyang ginawa sa mga ito at kung saan sila inalagay. Meron sa mga himpapawid, meron sa mga lupa, meron sa ilalim ng dagat. Kaya naman ganun kagaling ang Panginoong Diyos sa paglikha sa mundo. Kaya naman mga bata sa ating pag-aaralan, halina kayo at samahan natin pag-aaralan ang tungkol sa God is all knowing. Iniibitahan ko kayo na buksan natin ang Psalms 139 verse 1 to 6. Dito kung saan isinulat ni David na very inspired na kung saan nakilala ni David ang Panginoon na God is all knowing. Kaya naman buksan natin ang una nating pag-aaralan ay ang verse 1. Sabi dito, O Lord, Thou hast searched me and know me. Kilala tayo ng Diyos mga bata. Kahit sino pa tayo, kilala tayo ng Diyos. Simulat unang uh, tao na nabuhay dito sa mundo ay kilala ng Panginoong Diyos. Ganun siya kagaling. Kaya naman mga bata, lahat ng uh, yung buhok natin, yung katawan natin, kung ano yung mga parts niya, kung ano yung mga uh, uh, sakit natin, alam ng Panginoon ang lahat ng yan. Wala tayong maitatago sa Panginoon. Dahil alam niya ang lahat ng mga bagay. Lahat tayo ay nakagawa ng kasalanan sa Panginoon. Yes, kahit hindi alam ito ng ating pastor, ng ating mga teacher, katulad namin, kahit hindi alam ito ng inyong mga magulang, inyong mga kaibigan at mga kapatid, tanging ang Diyos ang nakakaalam kung ano ang kasalanan na gawa natin. Sabi ni David sa kanyang unang sinabi sa Panginoon, O Lord, Thou hast searched me and know me. Alam ni David na kilala ng Panginoon si David. Lahat na kung ano ang meron si David. Si David ay musikero, alam ng Panginoon. Si David ay uh, uh, naging ha, magiging hari, alam din ng Panginoon na lahat ng yan. Si David ay papatay, alam din ng Panginoon ng lahat ng yan. Kaya naman wala, maitatago si David sa Panginoon. At bilang Diyos niya, David, ay lahat ito ay alam ng Diyos. Kaya naman mga bata, sa atin din, uh, kilala tayo ng Diyos kung anong mga bagay na itinatago natin. Alam ng Panginoon ang lahat ng yan. Kaya naman mga bata, kung ano man yung mga bagay na tinatago natin, ito ay nagtag sa Panginoon. Mga bata, ito ang tinuturo ng Biblia. Ganito ang pagaling ang Diyos. God is all knowing. Ano pa man ang lahat na meron tayong problema, suliranin, suliranin o sa mga exam, test, and school module, ay alam ng Panginoon ang lahat na pinagdadaanan ng mga tao. Kaya wala naman tayong may tatago sa Panginoon. Ano ang dapat natin matutunan dito? Na ang Panginoon ay alam ang lahat, kaya naman tayo ay umapit sa Panginoon na sa gayon, uh, lahat ng mga bagay na plano niya sa buhay natin, ay ito ay dapat tayong mainit. Ito rin ang sabi sa verse 2. Sabi dito sa Psalms 139 verse 2, Thou knowest my sitting in my uprising. Thou understandest my thought of 
part of alam ng Diyos ang ating pag-iisip. Yes, mga bata, kung ano ang mga pangalap natin, kung ano ang mga gusto natin, kung, kung ano yung mga gustong ulam, uh, gustong puntahan, ano ba? Kung yung mga gustong bagay ninyong makamtan, alam ng Panginoon ng Diyos ang lahat ng yan. Ganun kagaling ng Panginoon kahit hindi mo sabihin. Alam ng Panginoon. Kaya ikaw, pinag-aaralan, pinag-aaralan natin na God is omniscient. Wala tayong may tatago sa Panginoon. At alam din ng Panginoon kung saan tayo papunta. Alam ng Panginoon ang lahat dito sa mundo. Dahil siya ang may gawa sa atin. Kaya naman mga bata sa verse 2, alam ng Diyos ang ating mga pag-iisip. Kapag tayo ay tumingin sa mga ah, kaibigan natin o mag-isip tayo na masama, ayan, huwag natin yung bati kasi ganito yan. Alam ng Diyos po yun. O di kaya naman, ay, nag-iisip tayo si, si mama o si, si papa o si daddy o si mami, hindi na ako pinapansin. Alam din na Panginoon. Yan. Lahat ng bagay na ating iniisip, kahit hindi may kita o hindi natin masasabi, alam na Diyos kung ano ang lahat ng iyan. Si David, ito rin ang kayo na nagsimulat. Nang sabihin, makita natin kung gano'ng kagano'ng yung Diyos. Sa ating pag-iisip, sa ating buong uh, pagkatao, kailangan mabigyan natin siya ng kapulihan. Tignan natin sa verse 10 na sinasabi dito. Thou compasset my path and my lining down and art acquainted with all my Alam ng Diyos ang ating tatahaki mga bata kung ano mga mangyayari sa atin, kung ano yung yung uh, uh, pupuntahan natin tulad yung mga pangarap natin sa buhay, hindi masama ang lahat ng yan mga bata. Pero kung ito ay taliwas sa Panginoon, kailangan tayo magpalit sa Panginoon. Kaya naman ang lahat ng bagay na, ng Panginoon sa atin, wala tayong maitatago. Kaya ang, na, ang nais lang ng Panginoon sa, na, sa lahat sa ating mga bata, ay eh yung plano ng Panginoon sa buhay mo, sa buhay ko, ay maging maayos. Kaya alam din ng Panginoon kapag tayo ay uh, hindi susunod sa Kanya. Ito ang mangyayari sa atin. At ipapakita ito ng Panginoon. Kaya na naman hanggat maaari, ang sabi ng Panginoon, sumunod kayo sa akin dahil alam po ang lahat ng mga bagay na mangyayari. Kaya hindi ginusto ng Panginoon ang lahat ay mapahama. Ngunit dahil sa hindi pagsunod ng tao sa Diyos, ay lahat ito ay napupunta sa kapahamakan. Kaya naman mga bata, mahalaga na, ma- na pag-aralan natin ito na God is knowing bakit? Dahil para it, it, uh, malaman natin na ang Panginoon alam ang lahat ng ating mangyayari, nang sa gayon, ibigay natin ang ating mga buhay sa Panginoon Diyos at siya ang bahala magkontrol sa atin. Dahil alam niya kung saan niya tayo inalagay. Dahil alam niya kung saan tayo dapat naroon. Dahil alam niya kung saan dapat siya malibigyan ng kapulihan. Sabi din sa verse 4 ng Psalms 139, for there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, Thou knows it all together. Ang ating sasabihin bago pa lang tayo magsalita. Yes, mga bata, ganun ang galing ang Diyos. Bago tayo magsalita, bago pa sabihin natin sa magulang natin kung ano yung mga gusto natin, bago pa lang tayo uh, sabihin sa ating mga kalaro, teacher, lahat yan, alam ng Diyos. At ito yung mismo naranasan ni David. Alam ng Diyos ang lahat kay eh, David. Na dati na kung saan si David ay eh, pinatay niya si Uriah. Hindi niya inamin sa Panginoon ang kasalanan ito pero alam ng Panginoon na pumatay si David. Akala ni David na uh, ginawa niya ang karumal-dumal na yon ay walang nakatingin. Meron. Akala niya sa paligid niya walang nakatingin. Pero sa taas, sa kalangitan, alam ng Panginoong Diyos ang lahat na ginagawa natin. Mahalagang matutunan natin itong mga bata. Bakit? Dahil wala tayo na itatago sa Panginoon. Lahat ng kasalanan na meron tayo ay alam ng Panginoon. Ganong kagaling ang Diyos? Ganong kagaling? Lahat alam niya. 
Pero binibigyan niya ang lahat ng pagkakataon na ang mga tao at tayo at kayong mga bata ay binibigyan ng pagkakataon na baguhin natin ang mga maling gawain natin. Sapagkat alam ito ng Panginoon, kaya naman ibinigay ng Panginoon Diyos ang salita niya para tayo ay mamuhay sa kanya salita. Nang sa gayon, ang buhay natin ay naging masaya at sa gana. Uh, kung, pero kung may mga dumating mga suliranin, ang sabi ng Panginoon, alam niya ang lahat ng mga nangyayari, siya ang magpo-provide sa lahat ng mga suliranin. O mga kakulangan natin, mga news natin, siya ang magpo-provide ng lahat dahil ito ang kainong mga pangako. Kaya naman, mga bata, ipagkatiwala natin sa Panginoon ang lahat. Sabi rin sa verse 5, Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thy hand upon me. Iniingatan tayo ng Panginoon ng Diyos. Bago pa lang tayo isilang mga bata, sa sinapukunan tayo ng ating mga magulang, kilala na tayo ng Diyos. Sa, uh, sa ating paglaki, simulat 1 years old, 2 years old, 3 years old, hanggang sa edad nyo ngayon, Kilala tayo ng Diyos. Wala tayong matatago, matatago sa Panginoon. Kung paano ka lumaki, kung ano ang gatas mo, kung ano yung sino yung mga nakasama mo, alam lahat ng Panginoon. Diyos ito. Alam din ni David, ang uh, Panginoon ang nag-ingat sa kanya sa lahat. Although may mga sublation decision, may mga maling, uh, may maling plano ang, gin- ang ginawa niya, Yet, dahil sa uh, pagkatakot ni David sa Panginoon, ipinagkatiwala niya ang lahat sa Panginoon. Dahil alam niya na ang Panginoon ay alam ang lahat. Kaya naman ipinagkatiwala ni David ang kanyang buhay para sa Panginoon. Nang sabihan, ang mga susunod niyang desisyon ay maging kapurihan sa Panginoon Diyos. Maging maayos ng gusto ng Diyos. Kaya mga bata, alam niyo ba, marami ngayon ang tao na hindi maayos ang buhay. Bakit? Dahil hindi sa pagsunod sa Diyos. Hindi nila binibigay ang kanilang buhay o hindi nila ipinagkakatiwala ang kanilang buhay sa Diyos. Bakit? Dahil hindi nila alam na ang Panginoon is God is all known. Alam na Panginoon lahat. Nagsagayon, kung malalaman natin to na isa sa mga attribute ng Panginoon na God is all knowing dahil alam na pala lahat ng lahat ng mangyayari sa atin ay sumunod na tayo dahil may mga utos ang Panginoon sa atin kung saan tayo ilalagay. Kaya ang lahat ng hindi sumunod sa Panginoon lahat naging miserable ang buhay pero hindi nang tatapos ito dahil ang pagmamahal ng Panginoon ay banayan sa lahat. Kaya naman ang lahat ng tumalikot sa kasalanan at pagsisihan ito ay binigyan ng karapatan ng Panginoon na maging isang anak. Nang sa gayon, sa pagkakataon ito na may tamang relasyon na sila ng Diyos at ng tao, ay uh, Panginoon na kikilos sa buhay ng tao ito at hindi na magiging miserable kahit kailan. Though may mga uh, pangyayari o may mga problema darating, may mga circumstances, trials na darating, pero ang pangako ng Panginoon, hindi tayo pababayaan. At iingat na tayo ng Panginoon. At ito ang ginawa ng Panginoon Diyos kay TV. Na dapat natin maunawaan mga bata na iniingat na tayo ng Diyos. Mahal tayo ng Diyos. Kaya naman, uh, nung nalaman ito ni David, ay nag, nag, uh, nag, nanalaman siya sa Panginoon. At uh, sinabi niya na, na kayo yung Diyos na may alam ng lahat. Kaya naman handa ang handa si David na ibigay ang kanyang buhay sa Panginoon. Sabi rin dito sa last verse na ating babasahin mga bata. Verse 6, Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. Dakila ang Diyos. Banayan sa kanyang pagmamahal. Even maybe na sumablay sa mga desisyon. Nandung pa rin yung yung, yung Ah, uh, kadakilaan ng Diyos. Alam na ang Panginoon eh, na si David ay pumatay. Alam na ang Panginoon si David ay sumaway. Alam na ang Panginoon na si David ay hindi sumunod sa kanyang uh, pinag-uutos. Yet, dahil uh, itong mga to, may plano ang Panginoon Diyos kay David, dahil alam din ang Panginoon na si David ay magagamit niya sa kanyang li- sa lini si David na darating ang Misaya. Ano yung Misaya? Na ang Panginoon Jesus Christ na tagapagligtas 
magsanlibutan na magbabayad ng ating mga kasanetan. Kaya naman mga bata, sa ating mga natutunan sa Bible study o sa pag-aaral ngayong uh, lesson, nag-gathers to mission. Na tayo matatalo sa Panginoon. Alam niya ang lahat ng ating mga kasalanan. Kaya naman kahit hindi niya i-confess o i-confess niya, alam niya ng Panginoon. Kaya naman dahil wala tayong may tatago sa Panginoon, kung meron tayong mga kasalanan na, na uh, hindi kaaya-aya at alam natin na hindi uh, gusto ng Panginoon Diyos, ay humingi tayo ng kapatawaran sa Panginoon. Banayag sa pagmamahal ng Diyos, kaya naman patatawaran tayo. Kaya naman mga bata, in the first verse, uh, six verses, we can see who we are to God. David wrote that God knows everything about him. David knew that he was special to God. God cared about his life. Even unto us mga bata, ganto na lang, ganto na lang yung pagmamahal ng Panginoon Diyos sa atin. God's knowledge is not limited in any way. The different verses describe the things that human cannot hide before God. God can see our action and He also knows the things we are thinking. Every word we say is also known by God. In our application like David, we are also special in the eyes of God. Knowing that God knows everything about us should give us comfort because He always knows everything we need and is always there for us to care for us and love us. Kaya naman mga bata, dahil nalaman natin na God is all knowing, wala tayo na ipagkano sa Panginoon. Dahil ang lahat ng alam ng Panginoon sa atin, ang lahat ng mga pinatago natin, ang lahat ng mga pagkatao natin, alam na kaya naman bata, sa ating lesson, dapat natin matutunan dahil itong mga bagay na ito, isa sa mga attribute ng Panginoon na God is omission. Ipagka, uh, i- kung may mga kasalanan tayo na hindi uh, uh, mabibigyan ng kapurya, Panginoon, may mga kasalanan tayo na tinatago. Hindi natin ang tawad sa Diyos at tanay ng Diyos na tayo ay patatawad. So mga bata, salamat sa inyong pakikinig ng ating Sunday School at uh, at uh, patuloy tayong mag-aral at samahan nyo kami next week sa mga susunod pa natin pag-aaral. So, mga bata, hanggang sa uli. See you next week! Hi kids! Today we saw how wonderful our God is. The first six verses of Psalm 139 told us that no one can equal the knowledge of God. He alone is all-knowing. His omniscience is not limited in any way. He has perfect knowledge about the past, present, and future. And God also knows you. He sees you and cares for you. He cared for you so much that He sent His only begotten Son so that we can have salvation in Jesus Christ. Let us have a review activity. I will show you a series of patterns and I want you to tell me what is the next in the sequence. For example, take a look at this. You can see one followed by two, three, then a big black. What do you think is next in the pattern? What should we put in the black? Is it option A, the number 5? Is it option B, the number 4? Or is it option C, the number 3? For this sequence, the correct answer is option B, the number 4. If we place the 4, we can look at the sequence again and read it as 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's start! Round 1. Take a look at this. Our pattern is 10, 9, 8, then a block. What do you think is the next in the pattern? What should we put in the block? Is it option A, the number 7? Is it option B, the number 8? 
Or is it option C, the number 4? Look at the numbers carefully and try to think what the pattern might be. For this sequence, the correct answer is Option A, the number 7. If we place the answer, we can look at the sequence again and read it as 10, 9, 8, and 7. We know this to be the, the answer because the pattern is to count backwards. Round 2. Take a look at this. Our next pattern is made up of clocks. Look at the first three items and try to figure out what you should put in the blank. Is it option A? Is it option B? Or is it option C? Do you already know how to read the time? What can you see is happening? What should we place next to finish the sequence? For this sequence, the correct answer is option C. If you place the answer, we can look at the sequence again and read the time on the clock. The first photo reads 2.30. The next reads 2.45. The third one reads 3 o'clock. That is increase of 15 minutes each. That is why the correct answer is option C, which reads 3.15. Round 3. Take a look at this. Our next pattern is made up of pictures. As you can see, it is a photo of arrows. Look at the first three items and try to figure out what we should put in the blank. Is it option A? Is it option B? Or is it option C? Look at the arrows. What directions are they pointing? Can you see is happening? What should we place next to finish the sequence? For this sequence, the correct answer is option A. If we place the correct answer in the blank, we can look at the sequence again and understand why that is the correct answer. The directions of the arrow are rotating. It started pointing to the west, then it pointed to the southwest, then south. Lastly, the correct answer is option a, where the arrow is pointing southeast. Did you have a hard time finishing the sequences? Or maybe you found it easy? In our activity, we guessed what will complete the pattern. It is as if we are predicting what will happen next. But in our lives, we don't know what will happen tomorrow. We don't have the power to see the future, unexpected things can occur. But because the Bible taught us about the omniscience of God, we know that He has complete and perfect knowledge about everything, even before we do say or think things. God already knows about them. That is why primary engineers we can trust in God. We can place our complete faith in Him. May it be our salvation or for our day-to-day -day lives. How does God's omniscience increase your faith in Him? Magandang umaga sa inyo mga bata. Si Teacher Pablo nga pala para sa inyong memory verse. Muli, tayo ay mag-aaral at magkakabisado ng mga verses. At alam ko, marami na kayong nakabisadong mga verses. At dagdagan natin ang mga yan. Dahil sabi nga ng Panginoon, tayo ay mag-aral at magkabisado ng mga verse sapagkat ito ang magpapaalala sa atin kung gaano niya tayo kamahal at kung gaano siya makapangyarihan. Maliban dito, 
kailangan natin i-apply ang lahat ng nakabisado natin ng mga memory verse. Kaya naman, halina pag-aralan natin ang Psalms 139 verse 13 to 14. Pero sa ating pag-aaralan ngayon, verse ay 13 muna ang ating kakabisaduhin. At syempre, may action. By next week, verse 14 ang ating kakabisaduhin. Handa na ba kayo? Okay. Ready? Basahin natin nang sabay-sabay ang ating memory verse. Ngayon, Psalms 139 verse 13. Sabi dyan, For thou hast possessed my rings, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. Basahin ulit natin sabay-sabay mga bata. Okay? Psalms 139 verse 13 For thou hast possessed my rings, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. Very good. Ngayon naman, basahin ulit natin with action. Okay? Psalms 139 verse 13 For thou hast possessed my rings, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. Very good. Ulitin natin ulit with action. Okay? Madali lang diba mga bata? Sabay-sabay natin basahin Psalms 139 verse 13 For thou hast possessed my rings, Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. Ngayon naman, kabisaduhin natin at nagtatanggal tayo ng mga words habang ginagawa natin with action. Okay ba? Kaya kaya? Alam ko mga kaya niyan. Let's do this. Ang tatanggalin natin words ay ang has possessed at has covered. Okay? Ready? Psalms 139, verse 13, For thou hast possessed my rings, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. Very good. Magtanggal ulit tayo ng word. Ano kayong word ang ating tatanggalin? Hmm. Ang tanggalin natin naman natin ay my rings at my mother's womb. Okay? Kaya ba? Kaya ang kaya niyan. Ready? Psalms 139 verse 13 For thou hast possessed my rings Thou hast covered me In my mother's womb Very good Ayos, kabisado na natin Alam nyo ba ang ibig sabihin ng verse natin ngayon? Dahil isa sa attribute ng Panginoon Ang omission Alam ng Panginoon Ang lahat sa atin at wala tayong may tatago sa Panginoon dahil alam niya ang lahat ng buong pagkatao natin. Bago tayo ipanganak mga bata habang sa sinapupo ng ating mga magulang, ay kilalaan na tayo ng Panginoong Diyos. Sobrang makapangyarihan siya at dakila. Kaya naman kamangha-mangha ang lahat ng kanyang ginawa. So paano mga bata? Hanggang sa susunod na ating memory verse, See you next week. Alam ko na dalihan kayo sa ating memory verse. Kaya naman, paghandaan natin ang verse 14. Medyo mahaba ito, pero alam ko kaya-kaya ito. See you next week. Hi, primaries and juniors. I'm Teacher Jude. I'm Teacher Leia. Primaries and juniors, I'm thinking of something. Teacher Jude, do you know what I'm thinking? Hmm, I don't know, but can I guess? Siguro you're thinking of our craft or you're thinking of yung anong pagkain natin mamaya. Pagkain? Hindi. What I'm thinking of is that what if other people can really know what we have in minds and in our hearts? Parang hindi tayo maging komportable nun, no? But the Bible, even our lesson today, Psalm 139 verses 1 to 6 tells us that God alone can know everything. He alone can know each of us perfectly. God knows what we think, the way we think, why we think, and even before we think. God is truly wonderful. Yes, He is. That is what our lesson from Psalm 139 is teaching us. God knows and cares for David. He knows and cares for us too. He knows our hearts completely. The heart in the Bible is not only about feelings or the organ that pumps the blood. This refers to thoughts, 
feelings, soul, and spirit. God doesn't need any instrument to see and to know things. He can see and know our hearts. To remember our lesson, God is omniscient or all-knowing, we will make magnifying glass craft. We need corrugated cardboard or board papers. Tulad nito. We also need two circle patterns na kahit naman ano yung basta bilog na pattern na gagamitin natin para makagawa tayo ng circle shapes. We also need, need cleared plastic or recyclable cleared plastic. We need scissors, tapes, some strings or yarn, and kung meron kayo sa bahay nyo, one hole puncher. We would also need pencil, colored pens, and markers. Cut a rectangular shape of a corrugated cardboard or board paper based on the circle we are going to use as next. Make sure to leave at least 1 to 2 cm margins on each side. Make the portion of rectangular rectangle curve by cutting it. Just like we always remind you, it is better to ask help from your parents or adults there in your house whenever you use scissors or cutter. It should look like this, primaries and juniors. Next step, let us trace the circle pattern. Small as the outside and smaller circle as our inside circle. This serves as a hole for the lens of our magnifying glass. We have to cut the inner circle carefully. Can you still follow, primaries and juniors? Let us trace another small and smaller circle on our board paper and cut the smaller or inner circle. Now, to make it really look like a magnifying glass, we are going to attach clear plastic on it. We need to cut the excess plastic around the circle. This serves as the glass for our magnifying glass. You may also use any recyclable materials there in your house for this craft, kids? And I'm sure you are excited for the next step. We are going to design our craft and write our lesson. God is omniscient. Psalm 139. Our craft is almost done. For our last step, Cut a small heart shape and place it at the center of our plastic lens of our magnifying glass. Then let us punch a hole on the bottom part of our craft and put strings or yarn so we can wear our magnifying glass craft. Kung wala naman kayong puncher, pwede nyo rin gamitan ng pencil or ng scissors para maglagay ng butas. Basta tandaan niya primaries and juniors na mag-ingat. At ito na ang ating magnifying glass craft. Kahit hindi totoo yung ating ginawang magnifying glass na ito, you may still use this during your playtime and you may pretend to be a detective. And of course, you can use this to remind us of our lesson about God. He is a mission or all-knowing and this can be found in Psalm 139. Primaries and juniors, may our craft magnify God's attribute or characteristic. He is being omniscient or all-knowing. We should be thankful that God knows and understands us perfectly. There are times that we don't even know why we think the way we think. We don't always know and understand ourselves. But, primaries and juniors, God does. He knows our deepest wants and greatest need. He knows the sinfulness of our hearts and the effect of eternal death that it cost Upon knowing all of these things about us, He chose to love us still and to provide salvation for free. That is true, Teacher Jude. And for our hearts to be right before God, we need Jesus Christ. His death, burial, and resurrection can save us and bring us back to God. Our right relationship and right identity is through Jesus Christ and in Him alone. 
if you want to have close relationship and right identity with God, primers and juniors, come and trust Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Until our next craft, keep, keep safe, safe and, and God, God bless. bless. Our online Sunday school is just about to be over. Let us review the things we have learned. This month, we are studying our series, Wonderful. I'm wonderfully made by the wonderful God. In Psalms 139, we have learned that God is omniscient. That means He is all-knowing. Nothing escapes the knowledge of God. Malaki man, iyon o maliit. Nangyari man yon dati, ngayon, o kahit bukas pa. Alam niya lahat yun. Even in our personal lives, God knows everything about it. Primaries and juniors, have you ever thought about what God's plan for you might be? Kahit yung future ninyo, alam na ng Panginoon. Alam niya kung saan kayo mag-aaral o kung anong magiging trabaho ninyo. Pero ibig sabihin din nito, alam ng Diyos kung ito yung mga mali natin ginagawa. We cannot hide anything from God. He can see all the things we do, including the wicked parts of our lives. God is concerned because we deserve punishment. Yet God, in His love, decided to create a way of salvation. This salvation is found only in the Lord Jesus Christ. God knew that you are a sinner and yet God still sent His Son, Jesus, to die for you because He loves you so much and He wants to have a relationship with you forever. Amen. God is truly wonderful. At para maalala natin yung lesson, gumawa tayo ng craft kanina kasama si Teacher Leia. At yung magnifying glass na iyon ay pwede natin gamitin para maalala na wala tayong maitatago mula sa Panginoon. Also, primaries and juniors, if you do our craft for this Sunday, please send a photo to us sa inyong mga teachers para makita namin yung ginagawa niya sa inyong mga bahay. And we also memorize the words of Psalms 139 verse 13. I hope that you will continue reviewing our memory verse. And once you have memorized verses 13 to 14, send us a video as well before our fourth week. We did a lot today and we learned more about ourselves, that God made us to be wonderful. At the same time, we are praising a wonderful God. Let us talk to God and thank Him that He loves us, even if He knows all our bad parts. So let us close our eyes and bow our heads. Our Father in Heaven, we thank you, Panginoon, na binigay niyo po kami ng oras para po makapag-aral sa aming online Sunday School. Salamat po, Panginoon, dahil nakita po namin sa sinulat ni David as inspired by the Holy Spirit that you know everything about us. And salamat po, Panginoon, kasi kahit alam niyo po na kami ay mga kapasalanan, ay pinadala niyo pa rin po si Jesus Christ para mamatay, para maglibay at magbuhay na manghuli para po kami ay makakita ng kalintasan. Lord, ahin po pinapasalamatan na dahil alam niyo po lahat ng mga bagay ay pwede po kami magtiwala sa inyo at pwede po kami gawin mo ng palataya na tunay na kayo yung nagapagligtas at tunay Panginoon na mahal niyo po kami. Lord, pinapanalangin ko po na i-bless niyo po yung Berean Bible Baptist Church and i-bless niyo po yung bawat bata na nanonood ng aming online Sunday School and I pray Panginoon na kung hindi pa po nila kilala si Jesus Christ ay kayo po yung pumilos sa kanila Panginoon. Convict them, O Lord, so that they would repent and have faith in Him so that they will be saved. Lord, tinapanalangin ko rin po na ingatan niyo po kami, Panginoon. Ingatan niyo rin po, Lord, yung uh, lahat na nangyayari, Panginoon. And despite po, Lord, na nangyayari sa, dahil sa COVID-19, alam po namin, Panginoon, na kayo pa rin po yung may sovereignty at kayo pa rin po, Lord, yung Diyos na pwede namin papulihan at pwede namin pagkatiwalaan because you are wonderful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Don't forget to invite your friends and family to watch our online Sunday School as well. Share our Facebook or YouTube link. See you next week as we continue studying wonderful and wonderfully made by the wonderful God. Psalms 1 Bye, Bye.